So, good morning. So it's Sunday morning, I'm at Stonehenge. I realised last night that my battery to battery charge is not working. When will it end? Probably when I move out of a van and live in a flat. Now I don't know if a fuse has blown. I've, I've checked fuses that I can get to and that that might have something to do with something, but I actually don't know if they are anything to do with anything. So, also, yeah, so I, I don't know if they all look, the ones I could get to looked at were all there. Okay, so as I can see, there is um, a 100 amp fuse in this little plastic thing that's on top of the battery. I, uh, I don't even know what that's for. I don't know if it's for um, anything to do with the tail lift or something. I don't, I don't know. I know that um, the person who put the battery, battery charger in, he connected the cables to cables that was already on the van, which would have been for the tail lift, I think. But there's also uh, an ignition wire, because I thought it's that somehow got broken, because it's only a really thin wire, but it seems all right from what I can see. So I'm thinking of fuse, but I don't know which fuse. Um, I took the mega fuse off and I put a picture on Facebook and said how do I test this because normally with the fuse you can see if it's gone well yeah we cap this it's got two sort of brass bits and a, a plastic bit in the middle which I don't think you can open it so anyway a few people said you need a multimeter oh I don't have a multimeter so I'm gonna go to Halfords in Salisbury and well, see if they've got a multimeter. But this is just so annoying because it's like I'm driving back. I was going to drive up to the Peak District today, Sunday. I thought quite a day. I can still do that. I mean, there's nothing to stop me doing that. But it would have, wouldn't it have been good to get like a three, three and a half, four hour drive um, for my batteries, my laser batteries, get them fully charged. So I got, when I got down here the day before yesterday. I'd driven for an hour and I thought my batteries didn't seem that great. So I don't know when this has stopped working. Although if it has, if it's a fuse that's blown, it might be to do with the fact that my battery was flat. I know it's a common thing in winter. Although, I think something's been draining my battery. Because I, I was at my daughter's for, I don't know, maybe five days. And when I went out to start my van, flat. So I had to call Green Flag started it straight away then I drove what nearly five hours down to Hampshire um, see it was all right for a day or two and then when I tried it nothing I mean no ignition nothing completely flat again so I've noticed that um, when I turn my ignition on sometimes there was a sound which I thought was coming from my stereo like it was sort of going shh no wait I can't make the sound can make some sounds I can't make that sound <laughs> it was uh, like it was the CD was in there but it was it was sticking like it was not playing so I disconnected that because I know my friend who's got an Iveco she had a uh, stereo was somehow draining her battery anyway did that ended up kind of well it didn't work very well anyway but after I prized it out it was knackered really <laughs> so I've been that and then when I turned my ignition on, because I had to charge, I uh, plugged in my battery charger and charged my batteries overnight. When I turned my ignition on, but it made that sound again. And I realised it wasn't coming from my stereo. It's coming from the tachograph, I think. I can't see where else it would be coming from. So I think it's that. So, I mean, that is on constantly. I'm trying to think, is it on? Is it ticking away when the engine's not running? Yes, it is it's ticking away so it's using power so it's that might be draining my battery although mind you it's winter so obviously with batteries get a bit more stick and i haven't been driving very far have I? i've been around redka occasional trip to bradford peak district but most days it's just local trips and uh, batteries need a bit more than that in winter don't they but you know the battery on little gem was much better so you were so I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it because that, that was stood for literally months. Started first time every time. So maybe it's just a shit battery. I really don't know. But anyway, 
Uh, I've got a, yeah, I'm going to go to Halfords and I don't know if anybody will help me there. I can buy them. They'll probably have multimeters, I guess. I'd rather not go to Halfords. It's not the cheapest place in the world, is it? How fraud, people call it. <laughs> but uh, needs must, I suppose. I'm so sick of this, though. I said, didn't I? There'll be something else. You know, we'll sort out one problem and then there'll be something else. And that's exactly what's happened. Oh, maybe I'm making it happen by being negative. And it's, you know, there's probably people watching thinking, oh, it's no big deal. But I don't deal very well with stress. Anyway, and when it's continual stuff, it, it does weigh you down. It does. I've been in tears this morning because I'm so fed up of dealing with all this shit by myself as well. But then I'm too deranged to have a relationship. So it's like, I'm just destined to struggle alone. <laughs> we'll get the violins out, Carol. I'm just keeping it real, you know. This is how it is. This is how van life can be. Anyway, worst things happened at sea. I'm going to set off now to half rods. So I went to Halfords in uh, Salisbury and they didn't have any fuses. I don't know. Did I show you the fuse that was busted? No, no, did I? No, no, no. I can't remember where I'd gotten it got to now. I took a fuse off the top of the battery. I don't know if it's what's um, been connected to the tail lift that was. Um, 100 amp fuse, so it's quite a big fuse, so it's for something that needs quite a bit of power, I suppose. So obviously, I don't have my tail lift anymore. Um, and I'm just wondering if it's well, I took it off because I didn't know what else to do. I checked the other fuses, some of the fuses, and they all looked okay. So I took this one off, but it was, um, I, I didn't know how you would know if it had gone or not. So I put a post on Facebook and People came back and said, you need to test it with a multimeter. Oh, I don't have a multimeter. Oh, I didn't. But I have now. So I've just bought one. Got off Amazon. Of course, I have no idea how to use it. It makes no sense to me. I've looked at the manual. Might as well be in Chinese. But anyway, I went to Halfords. I took in the fuse. I said, have you got one of these? No, we don't have. Um, and I said, do you know how I would how I can test it. Young lad there, he said, I'll test it. So he tested it and he said, well, there was nothing coming from it. So he said, it's buggered. Anyway, I got I got some fuses off Amazon. So it's one of these. So you, you can't say, I think you can open it up, but then you can't, part, you can't shut them again. So it won't be much good. Oh, you can, ah, this has actually got a, oh, this has, if you can see, it's got a window. The one that was on, it's just completely, it's all solid, is that? So you can't see. If it's gone or not. I assume that's what's in the other one. Although one side was a bit wobbly and somebody had said if the sides if it's if they're wobbling then it's gone. So anyway, he said it's gone. So I ordered these. So I'm gonna fit one and hopefully it works. <laughs> so I was gonna drive up north to the Peak District before I realised that my batteries weren't getting charged. So I've ended up coming back to my friends here in Hampshire. That's where I got my parcel delivered to. So hopefully this will sort it out and then I can set off tomorrow up north. It's actually snowing now. So I mean, it's not going to settle, but it's snowing. How nice. Well, so it stops me getting back up north. Anyway, I'm going to hopefully fix this now. So... This is a fuse that I took off. I'll just put it back on, but um, I'm not sure what this is. So I can assume it's to do with the tail lift. Anyway, I'm going to replace this fuse. So that's done. So if you see, this is the original. This is moving about a bit. So, we're good. <laughs> anyway! Moment of truth! I've got to go see if it's working out, oh, please!
just let me work in. Well, hey, success. The green light's on. The green light on the top of my B2B charger. So that is good. So that was, I don't know if I'd said, I think it was that um, I bought, because my battery had gone flat, um, I bought a jump pack thing off Amazon. And uh, I think that's blown, that's blown that fuse. So hopefully that's what that was. And this is just a isolated issue, not a bigger problem. <laughs> anyway, that's good and right pleased. Thank you.